Hey guys, welcome back. BDCKR here, and we're back with another online multiplayer video. We've been sort of reinvigorated recently. Yeah, so it was the summer. We've been having three videos a week for now. This is yeah. the fourth week in a row. Yeah, so we're posting at a bit of an increased rate, but we have a return to an old favorite that's been uh, improved in the intervening time since we last made a video about it. This is uh, the Flashpoint team, but not quite the same as you remember them. It's not your appearance Flashpoint team. <laughs> it's the gear. It's what's on the inside the, that counts. It's what's, the inside that counts. it's what's on the inside of the gear slots. All right, so we know why Flashpoint is great. It's because of Flashpoint Batman's passive that lets everybody who's Flashpoint do a wicked amount of crit damage. Yeah. And Deathstroke, who gets uh, an assist from Flashpoint teammates when he does his specials, Mm. and extra combo ender yeah so we've we've done a f since the last time we did this and, and i i'm gonna try to remember link it and a lot of times i don't but we've been using this team since season midway through season three and all of season four for our uh what used to be our q a videos which are now our p and q and c and a and t videos and we've gone away from it not because it's a bad team this is actually a great team but we started using other teams and specifically Justice League with our New 52 Wonder Woman and New 52 Superman and Injustice 2 Aquaman because even though it may not be faster at this level, yeah, when they're fully maxed out Elite 10, level 60, I think they're faster. Yeah. And they it illustrates a few more points about how to put a like, team together because this team is just great. Like, you almost can't go wrong with this yeah it's really hard to screw up it's sort of a bread and butter team and you know uh it it has been for a very long time and some things change and some things don't so we've yeah. changed the gear a little bit so you can do stuff with this team that you can't do with other teams just because their damage output is so high mm -hmm. so all right so one thing i want to point out is interesting so the first uh, opponent has astro harness and previously my temp my intuition and my temptation is to use tantu totem like with every other team to wait out Astro Harness and just do specials over. And I think in some ways a better strategy is to bring in your Astro Harness to match up against it um, to uh, to use the other guys coming in as a um, as a way in because wh how we geared out Deathstroke is to do a lot of splash damage because he's got League of Assassin's Knives. And then whoever's got the Astro Harness is actually not going to be able to make it through because we're going to be taking away all his health from somebody else. What makes it different against this Flashpoint team, though, is because of the, the barrier. That means we're taking a bunch of damage, too. But, mm -hmm. I see, there you go. Deathstroke now comes in. And uh, that's too bad. Because I was hoping that he'd have even less health and that we'd miss all of his invulnerabilities. So Deathstroke is mo mostly the same. I mean, we've done yeah. variations where he's got Heart of Darkness, so we want his special two to be more powerful. Um, we swapped out for League of Assassin's Knives because, as you can see, his special one is more than enough mm -hmm. to knock most people out. Uh, it does the splash damage, and it gives us the same power gen as League of Assassin's Knives, so that even if we're up against a power dampening team, we're still going to be able to... Mm -hmm. get our second bar of power and it, the funny thing is a lot of times we don't need it yeah strictly speaking right because master's death cart gives us the opportunity to land a special one unblocked the biggest variation now is my late recognition that flashpoint batman does oh there's another astronaut so flashpoint batman does more than enough damage even with only two gear slots um with boosted basic damage so the third one can be Astro Harness, so that when he tags in, he gets a few seconds of... Free wailing on people. Exactly. I mean, they may block it, but then eventually they, they try to hit us. It doesn't touch us at all. At the very worst, stress-free wailing on people. Right. Now, it makes our tank not as good, because uh, Aquaman, who used to have two pieces of fourth world gear, and then the uh, Astro Harness... See, all right, so this is an example of not an efficient way of doing it because we're wasting I mean eventually we're gonna waste one bar we're gonna to have to tag out Deathstroke because one special one is not gonna be able to finish him off it's gonna trigger another invulnerability and when the other team has 
bar of power, we're sort of vulnerable because sometimes they're special one because of the lag on our device. Yeah. It means that we're going to be uh, vulnerable to an attack. So, all right, so Aquaman is... It, so we've taken it off Astroheart, so what we've done is that given him Claw of Horus because the thing is, we're, we're hardly ever going to really need to use uh, Aquaman. Mm. And if he's going to be in, then might as well weaken whoever's left on the other team by disabling their gear. Yeah. And now he gets a revive, so there you go. He's used his revive. And... I mean, we don't even need him anymore. He's a warm body, but we still finish with all three guys. Mm -hmm. And super fast. Crazy quick, yeah. You can see. I mean, this is our old device, too. Yeah. All right, so, so loading the, screens yeah. are longer. Yeah. Uh, we uploaded in our last video. Uh, the fight turns out to take about the same amount of time, I think, all things considered. Yeah. But loading screens are quicker, and the other device is more responsive. Absolutely. So uh, the the difference in time is not Get too great, lost. right? Right. But you can see there's just a really high degree of consistency here, right? And it's hard to screw up. This is this is something that's for giving of devices yeah. that maybe are just right on the sort of outer limit. Yeah. And so there's two ways. I mean, more than two ways actually that you can play Raven when you've got a loadout like this is you can just do your usual. The usual really is Deathstroke in special one, a lot of splash damage. Um, and just keep on knocking everybody else and out until Astro Harness comes out. Yeah, and out. who cares? Right, and because it's multi-hit, we don't even care about a revive. Um, now, because Raven's got two bars of power, it's a little bit dangerous that if the special one doesn't finish her off, if she uh, swaps health with us twice... See, I don't even mind because... What, what this means is that we are getting um, a lot more splash damage Way, on the, Yeah, we can see people coming in mostly dead. <laughs> she didn't even have a chance to do her special two. Yeah. Which was unblockable for the second part. Yeah, I mean, the the danger there is somebody coming right in and getting their special off. Because every once in a while, right, it's hard to, like, a, with 100% right. consistency, uh, fight somebody who's coming in fresh with power. Especially if all the touches don't register. Yeah, but in this case, you know, we were fine. The Joker. Okay, so not a hacked account because they're not Nightwing. fully maxed out for their specials passive. Or not definitely a hacked account. Well, I guess... Yeah, if it's hacked, it's not well hacked, and it might be, it's probably uh, a cheated, glitched account. Yeah, because they have Nth Metal, but not Valorium Alloy upgrades. Yeah. So I guess maybe we need to find another word for that in between where people, well, we have the phrase, right? Kitties. Yeah, where they're you're just using software to... that has limitations, and you don't, you can't do anything that's not explicitly. Uh, uh, and it's basically software. buying buying packs for free. Yeah. Oh wow, and you can see how much health he's got because the splash damage was so little. And now, Doesn't matter though. Right. That's the thing about it is that the splash damage is great and the splash damage is especially great when you run into situations where people have uh, more health than yeah. the counterparts on their team. Yep. So you might have more trouble but then the splash damage brings them down so that you're sort of at parity. Yeah. But uh, in a lot of cases, what the splash damage does is it means that if you hit one person and kill them with unblocked, the yeah. next person, if they block, you're more likely to still be able to knock them out. That's right, because you've or, already done half the damage of it. Or no matter what happens, you're you're already still pretty likely to be able to knock them out. Right, because if you've done half the damage on one already just from splash, yeah. and they come in with half the damage taken already, now they block it. Well, they only take half the damage of a special one. If it was enough to knock out the other guy, it's probably enough to knock out this one too. Yeah, and then the new guy comes in with even less health. Yeah. The third guy. Yeah, so I think some people complain that this team is a little too easy. But what's interesting is just the variations on what you can do and where you might be vulnerable, especially, say, um, in this case, for example, Wally West, where there's... Yeah. <laughs> where, where Wally West can dodge specials, right? Theoretically, specials yeah. would be an issue, yeah. So this is... And also, it's important to note that like we, we make this delineation uh, when we're displaying teams because there's different things that you go into teams looking for yeah. and this is uh this is the grinding team right oh yeah this is a bread and butter you don't have to pay too much attention you don't have to actually spend too long playing this is when you want to uh, speed runs yeah this is when you want to get battle points and you don't want to put a lot of time or thought or effort into what you're doing that's right uh so you know maybe you're uh hanging out you know <laughs> whatever just doing just doing something that you can that you have your hands free but you probably don't want to pay a ton of attention to right. what you're Black doing. Adam. 
Right. And there are definitely teams where you want to sit down and play Injustice and not do anything else. And That's this right. is not probably that <laughs> team. Unless you want to, unless you're getting frustrated because you're losing yeah. and you want to just kick some butt for a bit. Yeah, so this still ranks as one of the best multiplayer teams, and it's also a good illustration of the point that when you've got a strategy in mind, there's so many different ways you can actually go about it and still have a winning team. There's no yeah. one right way to do things. Yeah. And there's there's also different cases. Uh, there's different sort of sources of a team's strength or a character strength. And in this case, the main strength is the synergy of the Flashpoint characters. Yeah. So I still haven't figured out what happens with this Shazam, because... Sometimes he can get knocked out on the first run, and the other times you might hit him down to no health, but then he'll still get like a, a second or two before he swaps out and then comes back later with 25%. Yeah. Or not 25%, but just like reduced damage and you can't knock him out and stuff. It, but the good thing is it'll only be for six seconds because he's uh, not fully maxed out. Oh. Get the watch. Our Batman get beat on by this Batman. Yeah, and I don't think our invulnerability trigger, so I think we're gonna lose Batman, which is okay as long as we got Deathstroke. He's Deathstroke is really the. Oh, oh wow! There oh, he is. Made it is. We got a little bit of health. Yeah. Oh, and... Batman came in with the Astro harness. Yeah, so he had triggered. That's fun. I didn't realize that. Uh, that could happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one thing I noticed too: the other characters are not like that when if they get. Uh, they're still standing as long as they're taking damage from yeah. the special one. It still gives us splash or gives them splash damage. But yeah. when Shazam is back in, it doesn't actually give any splash damage. That's interesting. He's taking no damage, even though we're still hitting him. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, so that was quick. Yeah, halfway through. And it, it really, I mean, if you don't include the, the time at the beginning where we're showing the characters and stuff, it's, it's like really, 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes. Yeah. I, I mean, we can do. It'd be unusual not to be able to just do quick 10-minute runs if we weren't checking out the other team, uh, waiting until the stats showed at the end, and if we just tried to do as fast as possible. Yeah. I think that's that's not bad. 50,000 every 10 minutes of battle points. Mm -hmm. So we'll do one more. All right, here's another one. Okay, so again, we could, because of uh, Killer Frost, we could, we have so many options. We could wait to bring in um deathstroke yeah we could just go ahead and wail on raven with their special one or do one tap combo mm -hmm. to get a second bar so that if the first bar doesn't knock out raven because she does the health swap we'll still be able to knock her out and then we're just really reducing everybody else's health on the opponent's team to nothing before they tag in yeah so here's Right, it's, and that's because the League of Assassins dies with the plus 30% that uh, Deathstroke's got his second bar like that. So there you go, that's one swap. That's, oh crap, too fast. Yeah, he was just too good. That's fine. Oh, but oh. he resurrected, so they gave us another hit. That was perfect. <laughs> that right, it was nightmare. That resurrect did not help. <laughs> yeah, that just helped us. Yeah, that was not for the other team. Yeah. It's like when they, well, this is off-color joke, I, will, I won't say it. Yeah. For, it's okay. for our pleasure. That's what that was. Not for theirs. Oh, God. All right, so, yeah, there's nothing there. The only thing interesting is, if the first person has Astro Harness, it might be a better and more efficient strategy to drop in uh, Batman with his Astro Harness, take a few swings, and, you know, maybe soften them up and use up uh, an invulnerability if they're there, but mm. when the next person tags in, use Deathstroke to drop the Astro Harness person's health down to next to nothing. And then bypass yep. maybe a few invulnerabilities if we're lucky. Oh, is that fu that's a funny noise he makes. When he's, oh, 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 oh. It's every time he gets hit, it's like he's stuttering. You know, like when you, oh, you yeah. smack your ch chest or your back when you're like saying something, mm -hmm. it makes your voice go, oh, uh, oh, oh, yeah. oh. See, you can hear the audio because you have headphones on, but I can't. So you're just describing. This is like a. It, it, it's For like, the hearing impaired? It's like described video. Des described audio. Oh, yeah, described video. But right, you can't right. have described audio. That's subtitles, but this is. <laughs> That's true. So the, what, the way I can usually tell when this team is going really. Oh, this is going to be a little bit of a pain because of the invulnerability at 10%. So what we're going to really want to do is reduce everybody's health with the splash damage enough so that we have fewer um so john stewart's passive triggers fewer times because mm. we can get them to come in with less than 10 percent health already 
then it the, they have to take a hit while they're up for the shield to come up. And we can hopefully bypass that right. entirely. Right. Begin. There we go. And we, we expect to hit it because there's just too many hits on his yeah. special. But the good thing is, I mean, he's got Tanty Totem, so we can just do this over. And unlike Harley Quinn, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, which last week we had trouble with because we didn't want to spam special 2 and pick the wrong thing, we don't care. If it happens to hit 100%, it's still doing a, a buttload of damage. Mm -hmm. And that was fast. Really, really quick. Considering there should have been three invulnerabilities, it still only took eight seconds. Wow. Yeah. I wonder how fast it would look on the new device. All right, so... I, Aquaman. All right, Astro Hearts, that's a pain. And Shazam? Shazam. Nope. All right, a decent amount. Stroke. They'd spend a decent amount of the Verlorum alloy to um, uh, or improve their special one and special two. Yeah, Shazam is the horse that they've backed. Yeah. Now, Meat Pickle... Is the name? It, if it says me pickle, part of me feels like they should have containment doomsday because to me, containment <laughs> doomsday, is, doomsday is pickle suit doomsday. Yeah, that's a that's <laughs> an old old joke. Yeah, because in case you know anybody listening who doesn't use containment doomsday or doesn't know, he looks like a pickle. He looks I, like a big it's, giant pickle. It's pretty self-explanatory, actually. I think as far as as far as uh, humor goes. That's pretty surface level lowbrow. I think people, anybody who has them in your collection, would be able to discern. Nice. Oh, he does that. He's making all those noises. It's like he's not well. Um, and I don't know even know when the final video whether it'll be loud enough for the viewers. All right, so here, here, look. He's invulnerable. It was the first go, and it took him that long to get away. Oh, unfortunate. Kneel before the king. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, it's not like we need any of them anyways. And let's splash him down to nothing. I mean, well, he actually already was nothing, so we'll see. Yeah. The good thing is it's only six seconds. As long as we survive this, we'll be able to use... Is it only six seconds, up. or is his passive upgraded? I don't think his passive was upgraded. I, I guess I should, probably should have looked, but the fact that none of the um, specials were upgraded for the dark power... Yeah, that looked a little like six seconds. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is this is a, a brilliant team. And the problem is, I guess, there's some principles that you can learn in the general makeup of the team, but really, it's because this team, it's it's Flashpoint Batman's passive. I think this game would, um, any new character that was a Flashpoint character would just be good no matter what their passive was because of Batman. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's funny, though, because since we started playing, literally, I mean, some things have changed. But Team Synergy still, like, that they have built in still remains the best sort of yeah. way to build a team. Oh, I remember when we first started and Red Sun was the best team. team. They were the only Team Synergy characters. Actually, that's, that's probably true. When we started playing, else. there was nobody else. Um, and I had heard about them and literally thought they were the red-bordered boss characters. Right. Because uh, I, I remember that I didn't I didn't realize that they were just gold a specific gold character. Yeah, I mean technically they're not. I mean, see, I same idea as metal. I don't know what you'd call them. They were just boss. Yeah, supers. Right, and part of the reason why the, this team is still so great at this level is because matchmaking is still good. So that there's a more than an even chance that we will not get. Actually, the most important one to look at is Arkham Knight Batgirl because we want to know if Arkham Knight Batgirl can do a special immediately that's gonna while we're stunned and she does not so our strategy now is still whale drop in on her. and whale on arkham knight harley quinn because we don't want her tagging out so that she will limit our tagging in mm -hmm. um and so arkham knight back will come in will stun us do hardly any damage and then we'll just uh finish her off destroy search and yeah. destroy the problem really will be that Harley Quinn will tag in again, and if we run out of power, we will we will need to. Yeah, see, so she's she's not doing anything. I mean, if you're gonna be using Arkham Knight Batgirl on an Arkham team, you really have to be put Cloak of Destiny or Necron Scythe, mm. and give her a bar of power when she drops in, because then you can totally mess up the other team. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, he's got Tantutone. So I'm just buying some time with the specials until 
the invulnerability passive because I don't want him to be, use his power. And now oh. we'll also get a free KO out of that. A bonus. Like a Jonas. Yeah. <laughs> bonus Jonas. I forget. I always forget the name of the bonus Jonas. I, I don't think I... Well, I, I can't it's say the youngest brother. There's you Nick, mentioned it, but I'm, I'm not Nick, paying... There's Nick, Joe, Kevin, and bonus. <laughs> and I forget bonus. his name. That's yeah. not entirely fair to him. He was like, uh, and also featuring on the show literally oh, named like, after uh, him on the Disney Channel. Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy. Um, Jonas. Peggy is the bonus Skyler sister. Fourth brother. <laughs> all right, so, all right, so yeah, this is not fully hacked. This is look, their specials are not great. Um, Frankie Jonas. Okay, Frankie Jonas. But I should probably, every once in a while, whenever I'm checking out the metal characters, what's most interesting is not their specials, is whether the passive is fully upgraded or not. Mm. And Nightwing is good. So this is a case where it's good having the second bar of power, because when Nightwing tags in, he's going to steal one of, I believe his is the passive that steals a bar of our power. Can I just read from his Wikipedia page? This is a okay. sad sentence. Um, he is a recurring character. Frankie Jonas is a recurring character in the television series Jonas. I... It's named after, it's his family's name. Yeah. And it's, it's about the Jonas Brothers. And he's, all, he's only a recurring yeah. character. He is a Jonas Brother. Yeah. Um, see, see what happened there, though? New 52 Shazam? He's standing there. He has, his passive hasn't even engaged yet because he didn't tag out. It's when he tags back in that he's invulnerable. Yeah. But he's already invulnerable. The good thing is this is only six seconds. And I probably shouldn't have done the super because when it's done, he's still going to be standing. Yeah. I probably should have done like a special one or special two. Just to would... waste time. Right. And with Tantu, it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, what? I guess we finished it. It finished late enough. Before the damage was dealt. That's interesting. And six seconds was over. Okay. There you go. Interesting. And that, my friends, is the Flashpoint team. That was a good note to end it on, actually. So it's good that you did the super. Yep. So there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Komoda! Komoda.